it's Mary coming at you from Kind Country Living. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful week and remember to be kind to themselves and be kind to someone else. Um, today we're going to do something that um, I have never tried before. I have never even eaten this vegetable before. Um, we're going to do a um, eggplant casserole today. And the reason um, I chose the eggplant casserole is on um, Friday, we was at work and the maintenance guy, he brought in some of his produce to share with some of the um, his coworkers and we were at the table going through the um, produce and I, you know, picked up a couple eggplants and me and one of the coworkers was talking and um, she asked like, what are you gonna do for your video on Sunday? And I said, um, be surprised, you may see this eggplant. Kind of said it as a joke and after I kind of thought about it over the weekend what I was gonna try to cook, I thought, you know what, that'd be a great idea. I have never cooked an eggplant before, have never even tasted an eggplant. So here we go. We're gonna try this together for the ones that have never tried an eggplant casserole. So, and what you need is one small uh, peeled um, eggplant um, and you dice it um, and I'll show it to you in a minute. I have it in my microwave. And then you put it in the microwave after you um, peel it and dice it for about five minutes um, until it gets soft. Um, I put mine in there for um, about two minutes before we start the video and realized, yeah, you need the whole five minutes. So I put it in for three more minutes. You also gonna need two cups of shredded cheese. And this recipe I kind of just made up. So, um, but anyway, um, and then we're gonna do um, one beaten egg. So I got one beaten egg already here. And also I'm gonna use about a fourth of a cup of onions. And you just kind of um, peel your onions and dice those. And I'm also gonna just use pepper to taste. I just kind of sh um, shook some pepper and some salt here in this little bowl. And I'll be adding that. And I also always like um, ch uh, cream of chicken. Cream of chicken makes everything taste so rich and good. So I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna throw in a, a can of cream of chicken. So we're gonna do one can of cream of chicken. And I know y'all laughing because I ha have a national brand today. I actually have Campbell's um, chicken instead of a natural store brand. Okay, and I also, I'm gonna use one cup of um, the stuffing. It's a cup of the, um, I'll tell you, stove top stuffing mix, and I'm using the chicken flavor here. Um, I'm gonna use one cup of that, and I'm also gonna use, I'm gonna just shake in some Italian seasoning um, in it also. And so it's real simple to do, and I'm gonna do it in the, um, in my serving dish that I'm actually gonna bake it in. So like I said, it's one, it's one dish, it's gonna be really, really easy. So um, let's get started. And so here it looks after you get it out your microwave. Um, and this is one small eggplant chopped and it looks like this. And I didn't even know how eggplant even looked inside. So this is amazing to me that they have little seeds or whatever. Y'all probably saying that lady is so crazy. She ain't never seen an eggplant before. I seen an eggplant, I just never have peeled it and diced up an eggplant. So this is a new experience for me. Okay, so here we go. All right, let me get a spoon here. You're gonna start mixing all this stuff up. And it's real easy. You can kind of mix it the way you wanna mix it. So I'll start with my soup first. And I'm gonna do the whole can. And I'm actually just gonna <clears throat> put it in here. We're gonna mix it up. But like I say, this is gonna be nice and easy. And I hope it tastes good. Cause like I said, I never uh, tasted an eggplant before. I think my husband said he had once at a restaurant, but I have never tasted an eggplant. I think he said he might have had one fried, but um, never had an eggplant before. So we're gonna see how this turns out. We're gonna see how this turn out together. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna add is. And this probably makes about, I, I say about four to five servings. It's not gonna be really, really big because I only got two eggplants because I wasn't really sure how everybody was gonna like this. But um, we're gonna see how this tastes in a few minutes. All righty. And then I'm just gonna add my onions. And now you can add, you know, other things. If you like bell pepper in your casseroles, you can add bell pepper. Um, you can probably do sour cream if you wanted to. Um, 
cheese. You know, casserole is kind of a throw in what you got, you know, to make it to make it tasty. And I just know um, I like cheese, so I thought I'm gonna put a whole bunch of cheese in mine. So that's why I chose to do two cups of cheese. And so um, I'm just gonna use half of it though. And you're gonna bake this in a preheated oven for uh, about on 350 for about 15 minutes. And then you'll add your um, the rest of your cheese to the top after it cooks 15 minutes. And then you'll put it back in the oven for an additional 15 minutes to melt that cheese on the top. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and add my pepper and my salt. And I'm, yeah, y'all saying that lady getting out with her fingers. Yup, I'm getting out with my fingers today. I'm trying to do this really, really quick for y'all to show y'all it really don't take a long time to um, stir up a nice, delicious dish. Well, I said delicious, we'll see. Like I said, I haven't never tried it before. So this is just Italian seasoning and I like it. So I shook a lot, but um, I'm just doing that by taste. So if you don't like Italian seasoning, um, don't put it in there. And um, I'm gonna put the chicken flavor stove top stuffing in here. I'm gonna mix that up. We'll just mix everything up real well. Let's make sure we got all this out of here. Cause you know how I don't like wasting anything. So make sure we get all that soup out. And just continue to mix. Like I said, it's real easy. And if you wanted to mix it in a bowl, you could. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cut down on some of my dishes today. I'm mixing this in what I'm cooking it in today. I'm gonna be real informal today. Y'all gonna say, that lady, that lady, she loved to talk. And uh, so we're gonna do this here like that. And I'm just mashing it down now because I got it all mixed in really well. Like I say, it's, it's like I said, it's a simple uh, recipe. Um, so I'm not kind of just kind of tweaked a little bit. And um, I don't need to put that on top. I need to stop talking again. I need to put that on when I put it in the, um, pull it out of the oven. I have to put um, 15 minutes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven um, on 350 for 15 minutes. And you know how I roll. So I got one in here already baking. So I'm going to pull this out and let y'all see how it looks. <clears throat> Just give me one second. This is really hot. It's just getting through baking. It's the last 15 minutes of it. And I'm going to show y'all how it looks. All right. And now, and if you want to kind of clean your uh, bowl up, I'll show you how to do that. Just get you a clean paper towel. If you're going to do it in the dish that you um, made it in, you can kind of just wipe it. I didn't do that with the other one that I just done. But if you want to kind of clean it up, that's all you have to do. And it's going in the oven, 350 for 15 minutes. I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna add the, uh, uh, my other um, cup of cheese to it. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how it looks. All um, mixed up here. Let me get my space all nice and neat for y'all. I want y'all to see the true, true, how this is gonna look. Cause I'm excited to see how it's gonna look too. Cause I ain't never cooked this. So we finna see how this look together. We gonna taste this together. And somebody might have done this already. And if you have ever did an eggplant casserole, you know, let me know and let me know what you did and how you cooked yours. You know, just um, share with me. Cause like I said, I don't know everything about cooking and I don't claim to be a chef or anything like that. I leave that to uh, Chef Kia. So if y'all um, remember a couple of weeks ago, I asked y'all to go by and um, check out his page. Yeah, check out Chef Keon. He got some nice recipes also. Um, show him some love. All right, so let me um, get this ready for y'all. Show y'all how this gonna look. Righty, I'll move that cheese out the way. Don't need that right now. All 
right. I'm going to get my spoon here. Okay, here we go, guys. This is, oh, this is just so exciting to me. My first experience, eggplant, casserole. All right, let's see how it looks. Let's see how Mary did. Don't talk about Mary now if it don't look good. Oh my goodness. Oh, just look at it. Just look at it. Don't that look good? And, and, I, and all it took was some eggplants. It took cheese. It took a little salt and black pepper. Took a little a cream, of mush, um, cream of chicken soup. That's all it took. And some seasoning. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and taste it for y'all. I had said I probably wouldn't taste it because I didn't want to make a ugly face on camera. But I'm gonna have to taste this for y'all so we can taste this together. All right, let's see. Let me let it cool a little bit. I don't want to burn my taste buds. All right, we're gonna let it cool a little bit. Y'all get to see Mary experience something for the very first time. My Facebook friends and family and my YouTube family. All right, here we go. Y'all see? Still got that steam coming from it. Don't that look good? All right. I'm almost nervous because I don't want y'all to see me make an ugly face. I'm just scared. All right. Here we go. I'll jump to the side. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's a taste to die for. Y'all going to try this. I'm sure y'all going to love it. The ones that have never tried an eggplant. Go try this. You got to try this. But make sure now you put a lot of cheese on it. Because I'm gonna give I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a little story. Hold on for a minute. Let me drink my little water. All right. When I was growing up, I used to not eat squash. I thought squash was the nastiest thing. But when I grew up, my husband liked the squash. I started cooking squash. I thought, you know what? I can make this taste better than what my mama used to make it. So when I cook squash, I do them just like my mama, but I put a lot of cheese in them, and they are delicious. So whatever vegetable you don't like your kids won't eat, if they like cheese, just pour the cheese to it, honey, and they will eat it. Okay, that's all Mary got for you today from Kind Country Living. I'll see y'all next week with a new video. And always remember, it doesn't cost a dime to be kind. Love you.